Although we haven't had many opportunities to travel recently, traveling is a fun experience and possibly even necessary depending on your situation or job. Maybe you travel to and from university or school across the country, or maybe you frequently travel internationally for your job, or maybe you just love getting away to a different city for the weekend. Whatever it is, it's important to be able to work effectively and efficiently if you need to, whether it be studying for an exam, writing code for an app, or approving finance requests for your job. In this video, I'm going to show you my Mac travel desk setup, perfected from years of international and interstate travel, either for work or for pleasure. While the setup is relatively lightweight and minimal, it still allows me to have a high level of productivity no matter where I am on the planet. Also, big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I've used Skillshare a lot recently to improve the quality of my content, but more on that later. Let's start with the big stuff, the bag. If you're not familiar with the term one bag, I encourage you to do some research into it. In a nutshell, it means traveling with a single bag, whether you're going away for the weekend or a four week international holiday. My most recent international trip was to France and Russia for two weeks, and I took a single 35 liter bag. Sounds a bit crazy, right? Well, actually, it was great only having a single bag, no waiting at the baggage carousel after a flight, no checking in bags, and being able to go anywhere and do anything because I didn't have a big roller bag to lug around. I thoroughly recommend that you look into this whole one bag strategy because I guarantee you, you'll never look back. Recently, I went on a short trip that involved a few hotels, so I shot some footage of the setup I use when I travel. My one bag of choice is the Manal Carry-On 3.0. It's not cheap, but damn, it is a rugged bag with a ton of tech-oriented features. I won't go into too much detail on the bag as I'll leave that for a separate video. Comment down below if you're interested in seeing that, by the way. The Manal 3.0 allows me to pack all of my clothes, toiletries, and technology in a single place. The tech compartment at the back is amazing and allows me to pack my M1 MacBook Air safely. You can see the design suspends the laptop in the middle of the bag, so even if I drop the bag on concrete, the laptop will not hit the ground and the bag absorbs everything. And yes, I've tested this several times. My computer of choice is a base model M1 MacBook Air. I can do pretty much anything on this machine, including some basic 4K editing and rendering. I do have the thermal mod applied, which gives me roughly an extra 15% more performance at the cost of the back chassis getting much hotter during intensive use, such as rendering a video. I have a video on this if you're interested, link in the top right corner. I chose the M1 MacBook Air because it's super powerful, lightweight, and isn't super expensive, so if it's lost or stolen, I won't cry for too long. The battery life is also amazing, which is perfect for travel, especially on long plane flights or at airports where PowerPoint access is limited. What about accessories and peripherals? Good question. But first, a quick word from our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including content creation, design, photography, videography, and more. I've found Marquez's Skillshare class, YouTube success, script, shoot, and edit with MKBHD really interesting and will be implementing some of his unique camera angles in future videos. Skillshare classes include a combination of video lessons and class projects, all designed to fit your schedule and skill level. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, and the first 1,000 people to use my link will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Do something today you couldn't do yesterday with short classes designed for real life. When I'm away, I generally have to type a lot, so having an ergonomic setup wherever possible is ideal. The best way to do this easily and cheaply is to buy a collapsible laptop stand. I'm using a cheap one from Amazon and it's surprisingly sturdy and adjustable. This will raise your screen up much further than if your laptop was simply sitting on the table. Your neck and back will hurt less because of it. If you can find a stack of books or something similar, you might even be able to get the screen up to eye level, depending how tall you are. I love this stand because it folds away into almost nothing. And even though it's made of metal, it's aluminum. So it's still quite lightweight, which is important, especially if you're one bag and the airline has a weight limit for carry-on luggage. 
Every ounce of weight counts. By the way, all the items I talk about in this video are linked down in the description below. For peripherals, I use the standard Apple wireless keyboard and a Logitech MX Master Mouse. Starting with the keyboard, there's no real reason behind my decision. I've had this keyboard for three years from a previous job, so I don't care if it gets lost or damaged. Would I be better off with a much smaller and travel-oriented keyboard? Probably, but then I'd have to go out and spend extra money on it. I usually spend at least one or two hours typing every day, so a proper keyboard is a welcome addition. I also like that it charges via a lightning cable, which is something I already carry for my iPhone. The MX Master mouse is a no-brainer. I've featured this mouse on my channel several times now and can thoroughly recommend it. It's super ergonomic, comfortable, and responsive. Like the keyboard, you can certainly get smaller and lighter mice, but for something you'll likely be using for hours every day, in my opinion, the slightly heavier weight and larger size of the MX Master compared to a slim profile mouse is not worth it. Make sure you bring a cheap, thin mouse pad too because the surfaces of hotel desks may not be too smooth. By the way, all of this is stored neatly in the back compartment of the Manal 3.0. Another super useful piece of equipment is the Anchor 8-in-1 USB-C hub. I've also reviewed this on my channel previously and it's a great addition for any setup. I can instantly gain access to Ethernet, USB ports, SD cards, HDMI and more all with a single dongle. I tend to use it mainly for the SD card as all the peripherals I use with my MacBook are wireless. Staying with the Anchor theme, I also have the Anchor PowerCore 3 Slim Power Bank. I did a heap of research before buying this about 12 months ago, and in my opinion, it's one of the best power banks you can get. It has 10,000 milliamp hours and is the PD version, which stands for power delivery. This means you can not only charge your other devices, but even your MacBook itself. Although, like I found in a previous video, the charging speed is very slow. I also use a one terabyte Samsung T5 SSD to store all of my footage and files that don't fit on the internal SSD of my base model MacBook Air. As for small tech items and miscellaneous things like cables and chargers, I keep them all in the Peak Design tech pouch. Just like the Manal bag, the tech pouch is rugged and very well designed with an incredibly intuitive origami-like interior. If you're interested in this bag and what I have inside it in further detail, I have a review on it on my second channel that I'll link below and up in the top right corner of this video. And that is pretty much it. Like I mentioned before, I've implemented one bagging into my travel setup, so although it looks like I'm taking a heap of gear with me, it's still relatively lightweight and minimal, allowing me plenty of space for clothes, toiletries, and other miscellaneous miscellaneous travel items like travel plug adapters or even a raincoat for wet weather. Everything fits into my 35 liter Manal 3.0 bag and the whole setup weighs under 8 kilos. Now I will be refining this setup over the years but for now I love it as it allows me to work at a consistent level of productivity from anywhere in the world. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you want to check out anything I've featured in this video, links are in the description down below. But apart from that, I'll catch you in the next one.